the big question is whether it's time to trim across the board after this massive run that we had from November. Kramer this morning said trim across the board. I don't care how great it is. There has to be some discipline on the mega caps. Maybe it's time for them to cool off. They're up so much. Multiples are out of whack. I look at you today and I see that you've trimmed both Meta and Microsoft. I have. And look, my views on those particular equities have not changed at all. The positions got almost irresponsibly large. I mean, candidly, they were over 40% of the portfolio because of the growth we've seen them. And while I would never get that large in names that don't have the underlying fundamentals and don't have the core values, the intrinsic value of these companies, I just didn't believe we are going to have the same experience. I still think they'll outperform this year, yeah. but to the degree that they did, um, you know, I, I don't think they'll do it this year. Now, I actually sold them on Friday and a couple others which we'll go through because I think everybody had the same idea as me. Joe and I were talking about it last week, and I said, you know what, in January I'm going to pay her back, but as, that's what everybody wanted to do. So I took a look at Basically, you're putting off taxes for, for investors for a year. Then you've got the value of money, and it's, you know, like, what's that worth? What's the trade-off worth? So I just thought, look, let me trim. They're now positions that I'm comfortable holding, and I don't see myself saying, selling any more. I don't view them as overvalued, particularly with the fundamentals that they still have and what's in front of them. So I wouldn't sell for the sake of selling. I wouldn't sell them down from core positions, but I just thought it was prudent to take them off the table.